Hi there, looking today at practical workshop and artificial lighting, specifically looking at the Lumen method. So we've got our floor plan here, we've got drawing calculations that we started doing, and I've got a nice table because I like putting, when I have a, a formula like this, um, N representing number of lamps to put in the room, um, and I've got the formula here, I like to put everything into a table so it makes it nice and simple for me. So starting up with the working area A, this A value, um, this is your floor area. So Area at working height, um, so it needs to be whatever you want the surface of your table to be, basically. Uh, so I'm, I've said the floor area, that's uh, the whole area of the room, okay? Um, room design illumination is the luminance that is recommended. So how much lighting am I supposed to have in that living room and kitchen? Now, that's I get that from SIBSI, Chartered Institute of Building Services Engineers. Um, now, they have all the recommendations there, but you can go elsewhere um, just... What would you want the looks levels to be on that surface when you're working on it? Um, but recommendations from Sibsi are always good to go to. Okay, lamp design. So this is actually the lights themselves. So once I know what lights I'm getting, um, then I can go to their manufacturer detail and I can find out um, the actual design lumens. So it's, it's quite good. I can do that. And from the manufacturer as well, you can find out utilisation factor and maintenance factor. So over the life of um, the lamp, this is your sort of how much light is it going to emit, utilize, um, and then with the maintenance, you know, are you gonna get dust on it, etc. So you need to take them into consideration. If you're not gonna clean it every week or um, as, long, as often as it needs to, it will affect the amount of light that it gives off, okay? So these are what these factors let us work out. So once I've got all that information, I'm just plugging it into my uh, formula here. So E represents 200, A represents 26.3. Uh, my flux, my pi is 4,000, UF and MF, put it all in there. What that's given me is 2.74. Now that's not a whole lamp, is it? So actually I need to round that up. Always round it up because that's the minimum. <laughs> so N is the minimum number of lamps you need to be able to satisfy this design looks values given this lamp information so i need three lamps so i've put them there bang 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 three across equal equidistant across the space okay so just bear in mind uh, the coverings i've already said this does have an effect so if you're getting your lumens from a, a light bulb you need to be aware that if you then put a shade over it that's going to affect how much light's coming out of that lamp. So please bear that in mind, um, as well as maintenance factor and utilization factor. All right. Um, and then I've just got a couple of things up here for you. Uh, utilization factor tables. So these are the sort of places that I'm getting from. So Philips Lighting, Reliable Lighting, um, they're giving me the maintenance factors for their lamps. Um, and then I've got here the actual light store. So if you have a look in their data sheet, you can find consumption and I'm looking at brightness, lumens, how many lumens does that actual lamp give off? Um, and then obviously my recommended illuminances from Sibsi on the right here. Okay, so there's so much information out there. So it's trying to pull it all together, isn't it? Um, but good luck, have fun and uh, thanks for your time. Take care.